Hi guys, Damon Texas here, and as you can see, I'm back here again working with the little monster uh, Supreme I've got. Uh, it's still giving me fits trying to wire this thing up. Okay? Now, uh, I've tried several designs that people have offered me for wiring tips, and unfortunately, there's just too many wires, and uh, it's creating a problem. Now, this is a similar wiring uh, that a friend sent me. And a couple of these wires are pull wires, so keep in mind. Plus, this is a ground wire, this, this blue one, that came pulling out of the guitar. I've got to put back on this uh, stud here. Somehow, I'll probably have to drill in from right here below this pup and fashion a. Uh, wire in somewhere through there or maybe even lower depending how low that uh, hole goes to uh, get to contact that that uh, metal there and try to get that to stay not an easy task to do now I can't do it from the inside there's just no way there's no way to work with inside that so once I pulled it out I was pretty much screwed uh, trying to get that to work again and without the ground wire to the bridge it's going to be buzzing constantly so I'll end up drilling a hole through here to the uh, directly to the uh, uh, area where the uh, uh, bridge uh, leg is remove the bridge leg uh, pull the wire through uh, all copper through and uh, either glue or solder that in position one of the other parties glue it because it won't solder to this part or to this part and uh, go from there I mean that's all I can do right now on this thing hold on a second on this thing here, what I've got, and the problems I've got, where's that one? If you see the difference in these things, look at this. See this? These, this is the difference between these damn things. This is the original pot. This is, you know, the size of, oh shit, a new pot. Damn it. And it's just too friggin' big. It just barely, this will fit through the hole readily. God damn it. These barely fit through there, along with all the wires that have to go with them. The original wiring had uh, like six wires connected to these four pots, and a few that uh, interconnected, and that was it. It was just the most sparse wiring I've ever seen. Now, the advantage is that I've done it so many times, I know some of the ins and outs about pulling these wires through. Alright? First of all, you've got to kick all these wires here, these existing wires out of the way, have an open area, hold on a second, have an open area like this, that you pull that wire through, right, through here, then wire it to the uh, pot itself, just like this one is. You see that? How it's done? And through that little that little uh, split top and then uh, pull it shut, and it'll pull right up into the hole, drop a uh, nut on it, and it's done. Now the only other advantage I've got, so I can shine this through. It's not strong enough. The only other advantage I've got is that working with this, you'll see the size of this hole. See that? Look at that. See that wire? See that light? I can actually use the camera, either this camera or this camera here, to see where I'm pulling from to make sure I don't entrap another wire. Alright? But, I've got to go along this back wall here that you see it shining on right now. Alright? This little side wall long one there at the bottom of the picture kind of I got to go to the side of it keep to the side of it so I don't entrap these other wires I got to do it five times so I end up pulling five wires through all at once with open leads on the end of them so that oh my god so that I can end up pulling this through and it's not an easy task okay uh, other tool Believe it or not, <laughs> this is a simple coat hanger. 
uh, cut. And you can't form a hook with it because you'll end up just pulling the wire free from the uh, potentiometer. And if you look at these, these pods, they have a monster amount of uh, solder on them. Normally I don't put anywhere near this amount of solder on these pods because it burns them. But the simple fact that these wires come loose from pulling on them, you know, they have to have it. And there's no, no way around it, I guarantee you. Oh boy, so guys, if you come up with a wiring diagram that will help me out here, you know, give me a shout. And you can see there's your uh, pup number as well as that red, reddish wood mahogany craft they've got in there. And uh, let me know. Dave in Texas, have a good one. Bye.